Elite Gaming. What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ, and in this video, I'm going to address the question of how much RAM do you need for a gaming PC? Now this question is one of the top questions I get asked a lot, along with what is an SSD and do I need one, which I made a video for that, what kind of power supply I need, I have not made a video for that yet, and do I need a CPU cooler, which I made a video for that, and there's a card right here for that one. If you're interested in either of those two videos that I have made cards for, the links will also be in the description. But let's talk about RAM. Well, how much is enough, and is there a such thing as too much? Well, firstly, too much is not really a thing, except for the fact that it's hard on the wallet. Everyone knows RAM is a necessity for good smooth gaming. I will say about 80 to 90% of the computers I build for other people have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Zero will have four, and the top one out of five, maybe one out of 10, will have 16 gigs because that's a customer request. Because maybe they might want to do something different besides gaming. Luckily, we're not the first people to wonder if eight or 16 is really going to make a difference. Well, I've seen the test and I've done some experimenting on my own. And basically the tests show that you could game on four. Maybe not run many other tasks, but it's possible. Now, what do I mean by possible? Well, four will actually get you close to the same frame rates as 8 or 16. The problem is that every once in a while you'll hit a hitch and it'll be jarring and drop your frames very low. So this is not recommended. Now when it comes to 16, it seems to be not very utilized during gaming applications. In fact, all the charts and the tests that I've seen showed very little difference in multiple scenarios from 8 gigabytes to 16. And with RAM prices where they are now, it's hard not to recommend just getting 8 gigabytes of RAM. Since video games today are just now utilized utilizing 8 gig of RAM. Now you're starting to see more and more the recommended system requirements of games saying that you should be using 16 gigs of RAM. Well guess what? With those games tested, there was only a few percentile difference between 8 gigs and 16 gigs. It seems that your video card, as we all know, is the most important. Your CPU is second, with certain CPU demanding games that is. So that being said, instead of buying 16 gigs of RAM, I recommend you save the extra 50 or 60 dollars and put it towards a better video card. This will be an over overall better investment. This may be the difference of you getting on 1050 Ti and moving up to a GTX 1060 or an RX 470 to an RX 480. Now if you already have a beast gaming rig with like an i7, a GTX 1080, then yeah, you might want to invest into the 16 gigs of RAM because you definitely don't want the RAM to be the bottleneck. But at this point right now, I'm telling you, you don't need it. Be happy with 8 gigs, and if you ever need it, it's a 2 minute upgrade process. You're not really going to have to worry about it. You just match it up what you already have, make sure you have some slots open, and snap it in there. Also, in the future, RAM will probably be cheaper, so it'll be even more feasible. My recommendation is when you get a computer built, or when you build one yourself, Keep open slots so later on down the road at any time, if necessary, you can upgrade your RAM. And that's generally what I try to do for anyone I build a computer for, and I think that's good advice for anyone. Well, I hope this video gives you a little insight. If you're interested in any other tech-related PC building videos, links are in the description, and hopefully this helps. Be sure to click on the bell for the notifications, and if you have come here for notifications, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up with Notification Squad, and thank you for supporting my channel. My name is Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.